here is what my program looks like when it runs. I'm going to show you a few examples. So if I run it and my input string is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and I want the middle three characters, it tells me the middle three characters of A, B, C, D, E, F, G are C, D, E. Now you can see that it's exactly right. I have two characters on each side. Now you'll notice if I'm, if I'm entering a string of an odd length, like this is length seven, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm looking for an odd number of characters. I can find something exactly in the middle. However, if I'm entering an odd string length and I want an even number of characters, four, for example, well, it's going to be off by one. It has to be. So, right, B, C, D, E, B, C, D, E. It's off by one. So the middle four characters, now I have only one character before it and two characters after it. Now, if you gave me, if your program gave me, whoops, if your program gave me these characters, that would also be okay. You have to be off by one, right? If my, I think that, hopefully that makes sense, right? If, if my string is odd, and the number of characters is even, you have to be off by one. And likewise, the other case is true. So if I enter A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, <clears throat> right, this is an even length string, and I ask for an odd number of characters, I'm going to be off by one. D, E, F, I asked for three characters, D, E, F. Well, now I have three characters before and two characters after it. So you're going to be off by one. Now you could have given me C, D, E, and that would have also been acceptable. You have to be off by one. Let me just run one more example. So I'm looking for, here's, an, here's another even string, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, that's length A, G, H, I should say. And if I look for four characters this time, this is going to be exactly in the middle. These four characters, C, D, E, F. Now, this is really a very short program to write. And I gave you sort of the start right here. This is pretty easy. I'm prompting them to enter a string and some number of characters. Really, you could do the whole thing in just a line or two. Really, you, you know how to find the middle of a string. Of course, you just find the length and you divide by two. And then you want to think about whether you want to round up, math.seal, or round down, math.floor. And then you just need a substring of the length that is being asked for here. But think about where you want to start that substring. Should it be exactly at the middle? No, it should be less than the middle by some amount. So again, this is a very short program, but it's, it's a little bit tricky to get it working just right. All right, good luck. Thanks for watching.